rejoinder here. You know, there are two names that makes me laugh. So, I apologize to Reverend Kumchacha. I don't know him. Yeah, yeah. But it was a Buruku Abrakwa which I wanted to mention. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Yes, <laughs> Abrakwa Abrakwa. <laughs> That's the one I want to mention. Oh, you know him too? I don't know. But he used to come there? I, no, I watch him. I didn't watch out of Net 2. Net 2, okay, okay. And then he's one. Look, the people I'm talking about, I will not invite anybody who's not sure to talk about they are dangerous. They are not there. <clears throat> I want to tell the person who said that uh, I should give him 500 euro to tell him that he should pray for wisdom. I did not say I dash, uh, but it could be my dollars. money. He stole it from me. He stole the two. I dollars. did not dash him. I cannot dash him and be saying that he stole from me. Let ask for God to give you wisdom so that when you open your mouth, you, you speak something sensible. I didn't say I dashed him money and come around and say that mm. he, 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 he stole my money. I didn't dash his dash. It's not owing. Secondly, I want us to look at the fact of the murder I'm talking about. Mm. It happened that my woman was very close to Dan's fiancé mm -hmm. that he wanted to marry. After Dan asked Bedu Kobe, my share, a share of the loot, my money they stole, Bedu Kobe told Dan, he gave him some money. Dan, I don't know him. But I saw him at a Shalom spot. He has an office. He says he do consultancy. So, I said, oh, nice. That's very good. He took my number. Then, I think Dan now went, not that, it, I think, he went to Berukobi again. That the money he gave him was not sufficient. There's a lady, <laughs> uh, you know, in the church there, uh, I never chased any woman. They chased me. So, they, they, wrote, they, they sent a message that a woman sent a message to Bodikobi that you allow Mr. Domingo to be sleeping with a woman. But if somebody else does it, it will come heavily on them. So, he read it for me. I was with him near his office. He read it for me. So I told him, he said, I have slept with, for, with about four or five women. I said, they are lying. I only slept with two. Uh, what's the problem? I, I, said, I said, I only slept with two. Even how did how did come and meet me and told me that, Daddy, you know, these people, that's what they're talking about. I said, how can I sleep with two women only? And they said, I slept with four. I have to defend myself. Mm. But what, it shocked uh, me to COVID that I said I slept with two. Now, this uh, case of uh, Dan, Bedukobi challenged the guy, they spoke badly. He told him he would kill him. Cleanly. I saw the, the phone. And then he said, you, you want to challenge me? Dan said, I know a lot of things, and I will expose you. <clears throat> he said, you do that, I will kill you. Then, my woman is so close to Dan's fiancé, and he brought the phone to me, and I saw it. So it was in the form of a text message? A text message. No, they were exchanging text. A lot of insult to themselves. Now, uh, Bedu Kobe now asked for a truce. That's the peace between them. And he told him that Dan should come and see him so they can settle the issue. When Dan got there, unfortunately for Dan, Dan did not know his accomplice. Mm -hmm. He served Dan a poisonous drink. Dan drank it. After drank, Dan drank the drink, Bedukobi left the office and went. Because the girlfriend asked him that, the fiancé asked him that, how was the meeting, how did he end? He said, oh, he just offered me drink, I drank, and then he went out again, and he came back and said, I have no money for you. 
you can get out of my office. So he invited him to the office yes. to give him money. Rather gave him drink, went out and sacked him. Yes. Wow. He knew he has killed him. He knew he has killed the boy. And then, so the boy died. When the boy died, the first thing Medukoni Kobe did was that he sent his sister, Monica, who was like an usher, he does everything for them, serving drinks to the pastors who come, to go with some guys to go and collect the phone. They wow. seized the phone from the girl by force. They had the text message on. Yes, they took the phone. So, if you are thinking that Bidukobi killed the man or not, that's what I, the last drink Dan drank was Bidukobi's uh, uh, offer of uh, drinks. And then he died. So, if you, and I'm telling you, as we are sitting down like this, I know Bidukobi. He has no other job. He has some people who are answer, answering and writing on his behalf. I know him. I can tell you what he will do. I know him very well. He has a, okay, now, you ask yourselves, you are thinking, question yourself, how did this happen? They do Kobe, all the people around him, close, have died. Mysteriously. And it's after a visit. Concert man. Appear. Every every member of the church, you, you must have known the man, or your conscience has departed you. He invited him to come. He poisoned him. On the way back, on the way back, fortunately for him, he makes the case to be a bit dicey. Because the car, the, the bus he was entering had an accident, which nobody died in. But the dad died already in the in the bus. So it looks like an accident. Now, the daughter of, of uh, uh, Apia met with me and my woman and said that Bedukubi has killed my father. The, the daughter told you? Yes. If they, want, if they want to know what killed these people, I am ready that we finance the autopsy, a new one. To exhume them and see what killed them. This so, serious. now again, my partner in business, he told me that Bidukobi served drink to a banker who was his very close friend, and the man has died. The same drink. The guy went and gave Bidukobi money which is not attached in the bank. Bedu Kobe has a bad record of people close to him dying. So, Pastor Duna Duni, the only survivor of all the people around Bedu Kobe, he told me that out of all the people, he's the only one who is alive who are around Bedu Kobe. They have all died. Young, young boys. Justice have died. Concertmen have died. Dan has died. All who are close to you. And you, you are a dangerous man, Brady Kobe. You know that. You laugh with people. Your intention is to kill them. And you, let me tell you something. You have no peace of mind. I, I, I was close with you. I said, you can't eat. You can't sleep. You took me around all this country where they are stealing cars. They say they have allow you to pay for the for the cash which we should be in jail. Bedu Kobe, my son just showed me the move at uh, the video of your interview with Delay in in 2018. Yeah. Delay, very intelligent girl. As a matter of fact, he took you to the cleaners. He destroyed you absolutely. With, she described with, with all the all the questions he was firing at you. Some of the question, you told her that your church members. If they want to sell rose plantain and be poor in their life, that's their own, part, their own business. You don't give money to poor people. You don't give car to poor people. That's true. You also told her when she asked you that, what business do you do? She said, I don't want Ghanaians to know my business. You're a fucking criminal. 
Because if you made that statement in the U.S. or Europe, you are going to jail. I'll, I'll show you. Just like Obini, if they're going to throw the books at him. You said you, couldn't, you can't let Ghanaians know your business. You don't want USA to know your business. That is, you don't register your business. It's clandestine. It's criminal business. You must know that. Secondly, you owe the inland revenue a lot of money. You understand that? You are going to jail for that. Now, your business is clandestine. You even confirm to delay that cocaine business is very lucrative and good. Oh, very true. You, a man of God, you say cocaine is natural. You are bloody illiterate. Because cocaine is not natural. I even know the system, the process of titration of cocaine. Coca leaf, they chew it. It won't do you anything. They have to squeeze the white liquid out of coca leaves and process it. So that is not God-made. It's man-made. Remember, I know you're not a pastor. You're a liar. Because you don't even know God has said that he has given you all these plants and leaves to be made for you. So those are natural things that God created. He didn't create cocaine. But you are there telling on the te te television that cocaine is a good business. Well, I'm sorry. The reason why I'm talking like this is not because Reverend Obusu Bempa, you say you want to be nation's prophet. Your problem with him, I know that your problem, your prayer all your life since I knew you is to be nation's prophet. Mm. I don't know what that means, but he has become recognized as a nation's prophet. So I'm not surprised if you want to destroy him. Because I know your ambition. He may not know, but I'm the one who was close with you. I know that your, your ambition is to be a nation's prophet. How Abu Fuadu will have given you, and you are a bad luck man. I, of course, you, are, you have blood in your hands. I'm only sorry for you. Do not have children again because they will suffer. You don't understand. The reason why we don't do bad is because of our children. But to the tenth generation, your children will suffer. Do have children again. God, look, you are alive because God wants you to repent. But once you die now, it's over. You understand? And I don't think you have anybody who will pray for you. The people in your church, I feel sorry for them. Because your church is hemorrhaging lives badly. You are doing turnover of dead bodies. Say so your son died of uh, uh, your own death. It's true, you are right. But she, it was it did not voluntarily surrender his life for you. You induce it. You replace your son with your, uh, you replace yourself with your son. If you don't know, just remember, you are killing people. They are very stupid. Those who are killing, God will ask you for their blood. Hmm. But me, those who are around me, they were hearing how you are stabbing me. Stabbing me with knife. They are hearing what kind of disease that somebody will be hit. They are hearing the boom, boom. around me. Huh? That That's was the, a personal attack. On me. That's the month your son died. But I don't know. Is your hand at work? You transfer the death to your son. Because you meet a bigger hand. I warned you before, don't try. The next time you will pay heavier price. Than... Let me tell you something. I come from the house of Danielu, the greatest magician in Bahia. He, you know, he showed me that there is hell. He showed me that there is hell. Look, when I was in England, my grandfather's family, they come and ask me whether he gave me all the books. He sins. He's a Catholic. He's a Catholic. When I was baptized in, uh, in England, uh, Anglican Church in England, part of England, but my grandfather, he fought with the whole Brazilian Catholic bishop. They come and beg him because they are all idol worshippers. My grandfather, he repented before he died. Sammy. He was very rich. You, all of you put together, you are doing your magic. You are too small for. Look, I sit down like this. My grandfather would just allow, command, stove, everything to come, and the 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 egg 
and the yam that will be cooked. No human being can cook it. The sweet, the sweetness. So I, I, do, I don't, do, I don't do juju. I don't do anything. But I will tell you something before you. One nana of Kuntana say that standard true. I gave him fifteen percent of my money, about four million dollars. He introduced me to a law firm. He went and collected my money. He poisoned me four times. There is a, there is a, there is a, a chemist near his house. I, I stopped there and I bought some medicine. I took the medicine. I said, somebody had poisoned me. I was driving him. Then he got to me. Then I told one guy, he said, are you crazy, my friend? You allow a paramount chief to kill for you? It's only taboo. I said, I didn't know. But you know what I'm wondering about God? I'm very sure that you will suffer unless you change. But you suffer in this world, though. Only if you change, you get salvation. You see, the poison he gave me left my stomach and entered him. I've never seen such a thing. And look, you wouldn't see me here today. Even you won't have my money to steal. If to say that man has killed me. But the poison did not kill me. When I went to meet him, he was dying. And I said, Nana, what happened? What's up? He said that he's very sick. I said, don't worry about my money. He said, I've collected my own share of the money. Go to the law firm and collect your money. I don't want to mention big people, you know I mean? who because the person, the big man among them, the biggest man among them, he did not know because he has given my case to them that they did that. $4 million. Mr. Domingo, before you continue with this story, there are two things we heard. Prophet Isaac Usman Pamid mentioned that when you came to him, you spoke to him about one, that's the drinking of blood that you saw, and yes, the sir. other two is with the issue of some Indians. Yes. That yes. you even met one in your church. No, we can bring the boy to come here. Mm -hmm. We can locate him. Because Which boy? Which boy is Johnny. That? His name is Johnny. Johnny, okay. He's one of the uh, bodyguards mm -hmm. that uh, Co uh, Bedu Kobe installed. So you can't see him unless you see them. Mm. Maybe I alone can see him. So now, the boy start to tell me that he has seen Bedu Kobe from treetop. We didn't know he's up there with fetish priest and the slaughtered Ram. I said, oh, Johnny. At that time, Bidukobi told me that the boy is mentally deranged. Mm. Maybe he's suspicious, because you know the boy has seen him. So he told me the boy is mentally deranged. So that's what I took about the boy. He would come again, say, Daddy, you are the only one that can tell this thing. I'm telling you, this man is, look, is fetish. This man is, a, is an occultist. I said, oh, no, that's too far first, Johnny. I was taking him for a crazy uh, guy. Person. He said, now, he said, Daddy, this one I'm going to tell you, if you like, don't believe me. I'm telling you that Bidukobi has brought Indians to come to the place early in the morning, before anybody can wake up. He saw them, you know, they are Indians, but they wear their dress. That also passed. Then, one guy, you know, these Arab, they have genie. Uh, genie yes. is what you call drugs. Yes. 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 So now this guy called me. He saw me at Bidukubi's church. So he knew I am living in this area, Paraku Estate. So he came around there and told me that you are going to the church of this man. The man is coming to me myself. I'm the one doing juju for him. <clears throat> at that point, I start to believe. I start to believe that hmm, this man. But each time I sit across Bedu Kobe, I see a wild animal with twisted uh, horn. Each time. Please, who was that man that told you that? Was he a member in the church? No, he only came to see him. Okay, to visit him. To collect money or something like that. Mm. So he saw me there, and he lives in my street. So he told me that. Your look, area. 
here in my area. He said, you are wasting your time. Going to this man, this man comes to me. You understand? <laughs> and he was an Indian? No, this man is an Arab. An Arab? Yes. Okay. He said, I'm the one who do things for him. He said, why don't you come direct? And you are going through this man. Then uh, he, was, I will come, he will come to me. And I said, ah. At that point, I believed the guy. You understand? Mm. Or say, man who dwarfs. Or say, man who genius. Or dwarfs. It's genius. They, you, they, they, they are dwarfs. dwarfs. Said dwarfs. Yes. You, can them 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 you can send them to do things. You can send them to go and do something. So that man told you that. He saw me at the church. I mean, he's the one who. Who does juju for juju for occultism for Beru Kobe? Okay. He said, "Well, am I coming to his church? I can come to him. He's just behind me there." Okay. <laughs> so the matter completed. I said. So the man lives around your area. Yes. Okay. So I said I will stop Beru Kobe's church about five times. He'll come and beg. And then come and beg. Beru Kobe. Okay. Then as time he started to say that. I can't beg anybody again, you know. <laughs> you understand? Yes. Because so at the point he got very confident that he cannot beg anybody. Now I entered Bitkobi's office one day. And what did I see? Is it okay? What did I see? I saw a cotton wool full of blood. He was cleaning his mouth with it, but he dropped it. He dropped it. As I'm sitting like that, it didn't just drop around the chair. So then again, we went out together. He said he's going to uh, East Legon. Yeah, I didn't know the place, but he took me to a house. We met some prominent football. Uh, Mr. Domingo, before we get to the East Ligon issue, so when he came out of the office, you checked what he used on the mouth. No, it was blood. You saw it? I saw no, I saw it here on the uh, on the on floor. The floor. Yes. Oh, okay. Then there is the same type of pin bottle around that blood that he took to that man. It was in a bottle. Yes. Wow. In a green bottle, greenish bottle. So it is then I interpret that so that so this thing is holding now to give that guy. It is the blood I saw because it's the same kind of bottle. Mm. You, you understand? Mm. But he did not only give that man the bottle, he gave the man, you know, the thing they used to pour pan wine. Mm -hmm. Calabash. It's not calabash, it's guard, guard. You okay, know? yeah. Uh, yeah. G O U R D. Okay, pot. With mouth small like this, mm -hmm. something. And then like the goes. one they put vinegar in. No. Like it looks this like is a calabash. Like a calabash. Thing. Okay. For small like one. Pot. Mm. Like something like pot. Mm. You know, let me dry for you. Okay. Okay. That's that it. Yes, 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 yes. The mouth is small. Yes, yes. Plus what they cover it with red cloth and uh, some reddish thing anyway. And he gave it to the guy. Mm. And truly, the guy got some fantastic promotion from somewhere. I don't want to talk about that. At you Islegon. Know. At Islegon here. Tasako or Islegon? T no, Tasako. The place is just behind Tasako. I don't know. I mean, it's not inside Tasako itself. Okay. But it's just behind, around like this. Mm. So I saw the thing. I said, oh. Then I stopped the church. My last word is, I came here to save those who are in the class of Bedu Kobe. Mm -hmm. You are playing dangerous game. You see that church which you are coming, they say you are praying. The foundation of it, Juju and some money were buried there. Mm -hmm. And you did not, you know, you didn't deny it. When your assistant pastor, your deputy, was telling, you know, most of the people here, they don't want to see God, you know. They don't want to see God. And some of them have been charmed. When your pastor, your assistant pastor, Pastor Ben, you were there listening, when he confirmed to the people that 
Me, Papa, he was speaking to you, <laughs> that the foundation of this church, they buried a large chunk of money there. But I know somebody who told me that, yes, with some juju, that person has left church, so it's a big, big elder who was there. Under that church, which you say you are praying to God, if you dispute it, let them come and excavate the place. The juju is under the church. But do you know what he said? That anybody who comes to this church, who comes to this church, will become rich. But let me tell you, I have the record. Nobody has come to Kobe's church and become rich before. Kobe's church, never. The only person who become rich in the church, he said he came with Chaliwate. Well, I don't want to mention his name. For he to death has entered his fingers. He's losing friends and death. The day Bedukobi took me to the man's shop, he's a chemist. When I went there, the man held me. He said, Mr. Domingo, Mr. Domingo, please hold me, hold me. Hold me, Mr. Domingo, please hold me. It was later I discovered that this man has taken the spirit. Uh, sorry, sorry, Professor. Bedukobi uh, has taken the spirit of the man. When he touches the man like this, Jesus Christ. You, you know how this uh, lava, mosquito lava do in the, in the water? He will just start to somersault and all kind of things. One, uh, one elder called, uh, it's, a, it's a policeman, Elder Yanko, DSP Yanko, said that, ah, are you the only one in the church? He takes, he will disorganize the church because when he touches him, he will, he will use him to show that he has powers. The guy is having a lot of uh, chemists. Even he has brought some people. Or something. He's his partner now with their same money. They took him to go and take Sikadru. And they are paying. But the wife died. The wife's guy, the guy's wife died a day before Kobe's son, Kobe son died. Mm. Mm. You see, the guy knows himself. If you want to take me to court, I'm ready. But we'll bring Kobe to come and touch him and see what will happen. <laughs> <laughs> so, to Jay, you cannot... Look, what I said, I will prove it. Look, I don't have business time with you, you know. But I'm just telling the pe people who, who come to your church, there is not a church, it's a shrine. There is something... If it is lie that his deputy, Pastor Ben Asamoah, was saying, if it's true, he announced it many times. For you, you know this, they don't want to worship God. They want powers. So they, are, they, they come more. When they hear that there is juju, <laughs> that they will be rich. <laughs> you come. Sikadu will never give you one billion. There is no Sikadu who got one billion in life before. And he will pay. Remember. Satan did not come to this world when he was driven down to be our enemy. He came to be our friend. That's what God was angry about. See, I will put enmity between you and the seed of the woman. You see, the enmity between us and Satan is irretrievable. <clears throat> it's God who commanded it. Satan fear God than us. We don't fear God. <clears throat> Satan fear God because he's his master, his maker. Satan is the son of the morning star. He fears God. I thank God for a man like uh, Reverend Rousseau Bampa, who reminded us that hell is real. Mm. Look, you see, if you use some uh, juju into your eyes like this, and when you want to walk from here to that place, this is the way you will walk. You go like this, you go like this, you go like this, like a madman. Mm. Because you are seeing other users of the atmosphere. Mm. You see? Mm. So, if you see that there are two places. Heaven is there and hell is down there, under our feet. When earthquake bust loose, that is hell. Mm. You won't see the people who are there, but they are there. Because we are not the only user of this universe, uh, universe we, are, we are looking at. Be careful. I care for your soul. That's why I came. Not that anybody brought me to come and destroy uh, 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 Kobe. Kobe is destroyed unless he repents. Every day God gives you life, Kobe is to repent. Because Some, somebody's die. even saying that I've heard the story of the chemist from his close worker. Somebody's writing that comment now. Wow. If he touches him, please hold me. If he touches him, 
So that's the only man he took to Sigaduro. Apart from that, nobody comes there with money and gets away with profit. You lose your money there. If you like, continue to stay there. A woman was very close to me in the church. The woman called me recently. I know he wants to ask him what is the problem between me. I said, 12 years on, you are just asking me problem with, between me and uh, Kobe. I look at you. Your husband used to give me Guinness to drink. Mm. He was a bank manager. You brought the man, a drunkard, and, and a, a, a terrible drunkard and a smoker. The man was dying. You brought him to church. Kobe was not able to deliver even drunkenness and, and, and smoking. Me, I was a 60 six smoker a day. The woman who gave birth to my first son in Ghana, she prayed for me. That day I bought one a, a packet. I used to buy a packet. So I took one stick and one of our workers, I went to his house. He used this thing to make a fire. I just rumpled the, the cigarette and threw it at the fire. And I hear my, 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 my baby mother saying that, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. I said, oh, you guys, you have been praying for me. When I went back to Europe, I didn't smoke. Inside terrible cold, I didn't smoke. I went to the U.S., I didn't smoke. Till today, 1988, save your soul. I was a 60 stick of cigarette smoker. <clears throat> but I stopped. Just prayer. She's not a pastor. She's just a woman I fell in love with. And she prayed for me. Your, the husband died. In that drunkenness, a bank manager. He was in charge of the whole uh, Ghana Commercial Bank School. Oh, you don't know about that too? You are not able to de deliver the man. You continue there. Those who have years over here, those who don't have years, continue there. You are in the shrine every time you enter that church. He has never contested the issue as it's because he thought that you, in, they know the cycle of these people. You don't want to serve God. It's powers we are looking for, powers. If not, you will not continue to go to church of uh, Emmanuel Kobe, a confirmed killer, froster, thief, and occultist. And you continue there. I'm sorry for you. Because of you, I come here today to let you know. The person you saw, you say, uh, uh, Reverend Wilson is telling people to come and... It was my enemy because of uh, you, Kobe. I don't want to hear his matter at all before. Until I come to see that this man is unlucky to have associated himself as your father, as your spiritual father, because you are placard his name all over the place. Uh, anybody who say don't, he knows you five, six, seven, eight, nine years ago, who say what I'm saying is not true, is a drunkard. So I have told you my beast. That's why I came, not because of Reverend Usubemba. You, it's him, it's a Kobe who's jealous of him. I'm not a pastor. I cannot be the nation's prophet. <laughs> so, but the trouble with you and the men, God knows that you're only jealous of his position. Because you're a bad luck man. Satan is following you. Don't you see? The time you said, uh, 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 President Akufado will win. I said, you can't win. Now, I told you that. Obama cannot win this time. I'm not a politician. I don't need anything from government or politics. But I hope I don't win again. You remember your church became empty over the matter. Then you lie against this man. You say, I'm not the only one. When the man in his church, nobody would lie against him. You say, I'm not the only one prophesying that uh, 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 um, President Akufado will win. I will lose. I know, will win. I'm not the only one. Even he mentioned <laughs> that's, that's why Reverend said that he find it hard to defend himself. Because he has to defend the son. The bastard son is going dead. You understand? Mm -hmm. So that's the point. He has to, you, you told the whole church that you are not the only one who prophesied that. And the next person you mentioned is that Reverend Usman said to prophesy that. Well, the man has been consistent in saying that, you know. Akufuado will win. Mm. That's what I mean. That's relative. And then you are a prostitute by nature. Then you run away. Go and join Mahama. 
At that time, my man lost. <laughs> Check yourself. <laughs> now, Uzubempa is the nation of prophet by the interpretation of people. What about you? You lose the game. You move here, you lose. You move there, you lose. Check yourself. And remember, you are not a man of God. The Bible says, if you malign a true man of God, that's why we know the people who insult. And you get a repercussion. You know that. Well, for you people, this program is for you. Save your soul. That is it. All right. That one was from Mr. Eduardo Domingo, one of the close associates with the said man of God we're talking about. We'll be here again on Monday to continue.